Teacher talking sports, what it does, what it do, how we live in the college football semifinals are set. We have Georgia taking on Ohio State and Michigan taking on TCU. Um, last year, I actually did the 10 best players in NFL history to come from the four schools that were in the semifinals. Figured I'd do it again this year, although two of the teams are repeats from last year. So I'll post the links in the description to the 10 best NFL players ever from Michigan and Georgia. But TCU and Ohio State I'll do. TCU today, Ohio State tomorrow. So, of course, this is subjective. Let me know in the comments if you agree, disagree. Let's get into it. My 10 best TCU players uh, that from the NFL in history. Um, I did not include guys who transferred to another school. Uh, TCU had to be the last school they attended. Let's get into it. Uh, the first three were almost interchangeable, but first I'm going to go with Bob Lilly, uh, the defensive lineman, spent his entire career with Dallas, was named to 10 straight Pro Bowls from 1964 to 73, was a seven-time first-team All-Pro, a Super Bowl champion, and was a part of the all-1960s and all-1970s team. Second, we have Ladanian Tomlinson. Tomlinson set an NFL record with 28 rushing touchdowns in 2006. Uh, was a three-time first-team All-Pro in his career. Rushed for 13,684 yards and 145 rushing touchdowns. Third, let's go way back to Sammy Ball, Sammy the Hall of Fame quarterback, was a four-time first-team All-Pro, a two-time NFL champion for his career, threw for 21,886 yards and 187 scores. Of course, it was during a much different era in the NFL. Fourth, we got Cheryl Hedrick, uh, who played with the Kansas City Chiefs mostly, and prior to that, the Dallas Texans they were known as. Uh, Hedrick was a four-time Pro Bowler, three-time All-Pro, and a two-time champion in the AFL. Picked off 15 passes, returned three of them for touchdowns. Fifth, we got Norm Evans, the offensive tackle, was a two-time Super Bowl champion, was a part of the 1972 Dolphins team that went undefeated in their Super Bowl year. Started 166 games in his career. Sixth, we got Greg Townsend, two-time Pro Bowler, did win a Super Bowl with the Raiders, um, started 102 games in his career, had 109 and a half career sacks, including seven seasons in which he reached double-digit sack totals. Seventh, Andy Dalton, the Red Rifle, still active, uh, starting games for the New Orleans Saints. Saints has started 158 games in his career with an 80-76-2 and two record. The three-time Pro Bowler has 37,531 passing yards and 241 passing touchdowns for his career. Eighth, let's go with Aaron Schobel. Uh, spent his entire career with the Bills. Was named to back-to-back -back Pro Bowls in 2006 and 2007. He had four seasons in which he reached double-digit sack totals. Uh, 78 for his career. Ninth, Kyle Clifton. Spent his whole career with the Jets. The linebacker actually had led the league in tackles three times in his career and picked off 12 passes. And 10th. Let's go to another active player, that being Jerry Hughes, uh, longtime Bill, spending this season with the Texans. Hughes has 66 career sacks, had back-to-back -back seasons with 10 sacks in 2013 and 2014. So there you have it, my 10 best players from TCU uh, in the NFL. Others I considered include uh, Barrett Robbins, uh, the offensive lineman with the Raiders, uh, Don Floyd, Guy Morris, uh, just to name a few. So there you have it, the 10 best TCU Horn Frogs at the NFL level. Stay tuned tomorrow. I'll take a look at the 10 best Ohio State. Uh, that should be plenty stacked, I am sure. Don't forget to subscribe. Tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend to subscribe, like the video, share the video, hit the bell for notifications. I'm out.